For challenge number 12, we will focus on how to simplify a picture or using this technique or skill of simplification. Now, what does that mean? That means that I, I assume many of you, when you paint or draw or sketch, you work from the details, first doing a rough sketch, later bringing the color and the shading. We are going to do it a little bit backwards or mix it up a bit in a way. We will first start by creating I want to say color blobs of what you want to create in the picture. So you need to have some sense of what you want to create and do the color part first without any detail. Now the, the first time you do this, this might be challenging, but the more you practice this, the better you'll get at it. Remember is to simplify. So instead of focusing on the details, we focus on the colors and the shapes and the areas that they cover. So for example, we had the blue and the yellow, that's the sky, the blue sky, the sunset um, part. We have a hill, some grass, a river. We have the brown of tree trunks and the leaves and the sun setting. We can add a few more detail, but not too much detail at the beginning. Okay, let's keep it like that. You can see what it is. It's a very simplifi simplified, basic picture, right? So that is the first layer. Now the second part is when you bring in the detail on top of that. And this you can do with dark colors, with black, or with the same colors as you used before, but just darker shades. So if I want to make the tree trunks darker, I can use black, depending on your picture, or you can mix the brown with black to make it only a darker brown, which would create a more realistic looking picture. In this example, I cannot do it, the, different, the mixing obviously, so I'm just going to use um, black to put in the detail all over. Here I've put some detail with the house and the grass. And of course, it's not important that you stay specific on the lines specifically, like it can go over a little bit. It cr creates a nice effect as well. Like you can see where the grass and the river where they meet. Some of the grass go over the river and some under and that's okay. It's a nice effect it creates. So this would be the final product. Now what is really nice about this experience, it's very enjoyable to put in the detail and already have the base or the, the foundation line uh, layer finished. So that will be your challenge, to work backwards in a way. And obviously you can still add more detail, bring other colors in if you like, but to use first the basic colors and basic shapes and then later bring in the detail. It's very enjoyable. And that is your challenge.